So today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Microsoft Sidewinder X6 keyboard. This is a powerful, programmable gaming keyboard. So the first question we should be asking is, what makes this a gaming keyboard? And the answer, as far as I can tell, is the art on the front of the box. You can see we have a caveman with a spear. If that's not gaming, I don't know what is. And then we have an arrow being shot by a guy. And then we have a rhinoceros wielding an enormous sword is what I can, as far as I can tell, that's what this is. And I wish I had a game with a rhinoceros and a sword because that would be the coolest game ever. Okay, so why don't we get into the actual features here. First of all, you got a switchable keypad and I'm gonna get the cameraman to come look at these every time I talk about them. Switchable keypad means that you can move the number pad from either side of the keyboard depending on whether you wanna use this with your left or your right hand, it just clips in. Okay, then you have mode switching. You can manually change the mode of the keyboard and I believe that's somewhere around here. Yep, from either typing mode to one of two gaming modes. Okay, then you've got macro keys which are located over here. You can program up to 90 macros to these keys. Then the next thing you've got is cruise control. And this is kind of a cool feature. You can use cruise control to continue an action without having to hold down the key or keys assigned to the action. So that means if you have a game that doesn't allow you to toggle crouch, for example, you could use cruise control in theory to keep crouching even when you're not pressing that key so it would be like a toggle switch okay then you have in-game macro record which is neat if you have to record macros in game then you have wasd gaming keys which is great because without those keys i couldn't type a wasted on this keyboard just kidding okay what you actually have is little lights on your wasd keys which will allow you to find them in the dark then you have a quick launch key, okay, for the Microsoft Games Explorer, yeah, because everyone uses that. And then you have a two color adjustable backlight dial, which is here, so you can change the dial to uh, more brightness or less more brightness. And then you have media keys, which are here, and then you have a volume control dial. Okay, so let's, ah, I dropped it. Okay, let's get this keyboard open. And we break the seal right here. So we actually recently unboxed the X8 gaming mouse, which I guess would be the, the mouse to go with the X6 gaming keyboard. The cameraman liked it. He said the, uh, the tracking was excellent, but the overall feel of it wasn't, uh, wasn't, as much, wasn't as good as he would have liked. And he went back to his G5. So take that for what you will. I didn't actually try the X8, so I can't really speak about it one way or the other. Okay, inside here we will find the Sidewinder X6 keyboard manual. So this tells you how to use everything, how to plug a USB port in. Make sure you study this picture carefully before you buy this keyboard. USB goes in. Excellent. Then you have a driver CD. Never use a driver CD. Always download the latest drivers off the manufacturer website. And a Microsoft product guide. So they tell you about all the other stuff you could buy from Microsoft, I guess. Actually, this doesn't seem to have anything useful in it. Okay. Then you have the number pad. So this is a little standalone number pad that you can't actually use unless you have an X6 keyboard. So there's your interface here, and there's your interface on the other side. So we'll show you how that works in a minute, but ah, the keys feel all right. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Oh, they have a calculator, but that is the smartest place I've ever seen for a calculator quick launch. That is exactly where it should be on every keyboard in the world, because if you're actually using calculator with the mouse, then you either don't do many calculations or you really don't care if they take forever. All right, so let's get the plastic off this keyboard so I can actually get it out of the bed here. All right, so let's put the... Okay, here we go. Actually, I should show you how this works. So you just plug the little interface in right there. Oh, that's actually really easy. And then to take it off, you just do that. And then you can plug it into the other... Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, that's cool. Check this out. If you can, like, slide it in. Wow. That's really neat. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm done playing with that now. So the general layout of the keyboard is... Fairly standard, which is always good for a gaming keyboard. You never want to see something like a shortened shift key or, you know, an extra key down here or a shortened backspace key. I personally like to see a very standard layout. The keys don't have much travel, which can also be quite useful for gaming because that means you're not pressing down a quarter of an inch just to get a um, key regis to register. Okay, you find all of the macro keys, the... Um, what is this one? The continuous action key. This is to record a new macro. This is to switch the mode. Here are all your media keys. This adjusts your keyboard brightness. Here is your volume control knob. Here is your glossy finish to the keyboard. So I'll do like the obligatory shiny. Look how shiny it is shot. So there you can see my finger. And that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about in terms of the Microsoft Sidewinder X6. So thank you for... Oh, I don't know what this does. Cameraman wants me to say what that does, but I don't remember. So... 
Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Microsoft X6 gaming keyboard.